Concrete 5 has two different ways you can handle permissions. By default, Concrete 5 ships with the basic permissions mode turned on. And that looks something like this. It's a pretty simple list of all the groups that you've made on the site, who can view a page, and who can edit it. For an awful lot of sites, this is really all you need. But if you want to start doing some more complicated workflow, you can turn on advanced permissions by switching a config parameter in a file, and you'll end up with something that looks more like this. Now this grid really lets you control who can do what uh, through any different part of the site in different ways. So let me show you some of the details. First thing to understand is how permissions are set. Permissions can either follow the tree, which is how they work by default, so they inherit permissions from the page above it, or you can get permissions from the type of page that we're using. This makes a lot of sense if you've created pages for different object models in your site, like you have a product page and a press release page, and you want to be able to let a single user role be able to make and manage them wherever they may show up through the site. Uh, regardless, if you want to override permissions at a specific level, which we do, you click Manual, and this whole grid lights up and you can start to use it. You can swap out what this grid shows with this drop-down, but we'll come back to that. Let's go ahead and just add a couple of users and groups to this list. So I've made an editors group, and I've made a writers group. And you can also add individual users. If for some reason you just want to give Joe access, you can do that. So every time you add a group or a user, it shows up in this list. And then you can go through and turn on which flags you want to give them. Read lets you look at the page at all. We want everyone to be able to do that. Versions lets you look at past versions of the page through this versions drop down. And write lets you make changes. But we only want to let editors approve those changes, delete pages, or get into this admin grid to be able to change stuff. So this setup, writers can make changes, but they can't really approve them. They can't move the page around or do other things. Uh, Joe, on the other hand, unless he's in one of these groups, can only read the page. And that's important to understand. Permissions are permissive in Concrete 5. So if Joe is in the administrator's group, he gets to do everything, even if he's also in the writer's group. We can come back up here, switch this drop down, and it'll show us subpage permissions. This lists all of the types of pages available on the site and lets you control which users or groups can add which types of pages here. Now, this makes a lot of sense if you want to limit the types of pages someone can add. Say we're in a blog section and you don't want to confuse Joe with a lot of different options, you could limit him to just adding a blog entry page type. We'll come back up to this drop down. Timed release settings let you control who can see what when. So if you wanted to have a press release and you wanted to work on it with your administrator crew but then embargo it until the actual release date so the public couldn't see it, all you have to do is turn on the release settings for the guest, bump that forward to when you want to embargo it, and you can also choose a, a period of time, so if you only wanted it available for a day, you could do that. Uh, it doesn't really matter here, we'll just make it available for a long time. Uh, we'll come back here and make sure to turn this off once it goes live. And once we save this, everyone but guests will be able to see this. Guests won't see it until 7.02 p.m. on November 22nd. The last option in here to think about is how subpages are added underneath here. When I add a page below this page, how do we want its permissions to work? There's two choices there. Either it can inherit the permissions from this page exactly the way we've set them, or it can grab permissions from the default page type, which you can manage through the dashboard. So at the page level, that's how you manage permissions. I'm going to do some other screencasts on how you manage permissions throughout the page and on individual blocks.